I'm going to tell you about a beach town which is affordable and yet really, really close to a lot of things. Easy highway access, very close to the ocean, and more. If you haven't checked out Claremont before, you should really look into it, especially if you want to be pretty close to the beach, in fact. Claremont is a suburban area, or village you could call it, town, um, that's about 81,000 in population, and it's on the east side of I-5. It's also south of 52. Very close to Pacific Beach in La Jolla, it's just across the highway, and you're gonna be at the beach within about 10 minutes. What home buyers really like about Claremont very much is that it's so close to so many things. It's very central. You can go down south to the downtown area or to Coronado. You're close to um, East County because you just can head out 52 or 8. Um, and then you can go to, to North County as well to the La Jolla area, Torrey Pines and, and on up. It's just one of the most central spots you can be in. Claremont is surrounded by mesas and canyons, along with Mission Bay being right across the highway. Mission Bay is a gorgeous park and it's huge with lots of water fun. There's swimming that you could do, boating, paddleboarding, kayaking. You could snorkel if you wanted to. Lots of long walking trails, as well as plenty of picnic areas. Tecolite Canyon Nature Park is another fun area with 903 acres of trails. Both flat trails as well as ones for more advanced hikers with elevation. There's also a golf course within this area. There's also an area called Marion Bear Memorial Park and it was named that in 1960. It's along the San Clemente Canyon and it includes 467 acres of land and runs parallel to the south side of 52 Freeway. There's also the YMCA's Kraus Family Skate and Bike Park. This is a destination park. It's affiliated with the Mission Valley YMCA, but it's open to the whole community and it's at 3401 Claremont Drive, where you can do lots of skateboarding, biking, scooters, and inline skates, which are allowed there. It's a large facility and includes beginner, intermediate, and advanced skating. There are plenty of other neighborhood parks throughout the whole community. You can just find dozens of them around. Claremont is a very family-friendly area with many nice things to do in the area, as just mentioned. And it's a nice multicultural area as well. Plenty of different events and lots of multicultural foods available as well, international cuisine. Claremont was developed after World War II by Lou Bergner and Carlos Taveros. And it's kind of known as, or was known as a village within a city, although it's really like a big suburban sprawl in a lot of ways. So in 1950, Carlos Taveras and Lou Bergner developed what became one of San Diego's largest post-war subdivisions. So a lot of the houses are built in the 50s throughout Claremont but they go beyond that a little bit in the 60s, 70s. Um, just hundreds and hundreds of homes. They were The first homes were built by Bergener and Taveras Construction Company, and they had lots of different floor plans. The beach access to the area of Claremont is very, um, very easy. You could go to Pacific Beach, which is so close, it's just across the highway. We talked about Mission Bay Park, which is a great recreation area with water, but it's not the ocean. And uh, Bird Rock, super cute town between Pacific Beach and La Jolla. La Jolla's got some beach areas as well, and Del Mar is not too far either. Shopping-wise, there's Fashion Valley, that's in the Mission Valley area, as well as um, UTC area. There's a, a, a large shopping spot there, Westfield UTC Mall. It's really a a luxurious small that's everything's pretty much on one level except some places have upstairs movie theaters restaurants it's all great i hope you enjoyed this video about claremont and that it told you a few things you may not have known about um, watch some of my other videos as well about some of the different neighborhoods in the area